And in any industry, any walk of life, when you see someone build something successful, you want to know why. How did they do that? What can we learn from them? Right now, after four years under 500, the San Francisco Giants are 30 games over 500 and have the best record in baseball. How are they doing it? Let's do a little digging in. First of all, this is no fluke. The Giants run differential translates almost exactly to their wins and losses, and they've been consistent all season. Their best month, they were 18 and 10. Worst month, 15 and 10. Think about that. They've won 23 series and lost nine, splitting four. 23 series wins. This is a balanced club that wins series. They can hit. The Giants are fifth out of 30 clubs in weighted runs created plus. They do not run well. 26th in base running runs. That's BSR at the very bottom. You see negative. They're not a good running team. They get on base. Fourth in walks, they hit home runs. They have hit more home runs than any other team in baseball, including the American League teams hitting with a DH, and the Giants do it in a pitcher's park. Over half of their runs scored are on home runs. The only club in the majors that does so. The pitching, also very good overall and deep. Second in ERA plus, that's park adjusted. I should mention their defense is quite good. Their fifth in defensive run saved. But the pitching is remarkable because much of it was just purchased on the free agent market this past offseason. The Giants got three pitchers who have struggled in recent years and hit on all of them. I'm going to use ERA plus because it shows where they relate to league average. 100 is league average. So look at the numbers across the top of the page there. I'm just saying 178, 125, 102, 197. And 100 is league average. So Kevin Gaussman just talked about him. A 178 ERA plus. Fifth best in Major League Baseball. 132 innings of elite work. Anthony DiSclafani, 126 innings of a 125 ERA+. plus. That's very good. Alex Wood, 102 innings of 102 ERA+. plus. That's good. League average is good. Jake McGee picked up for $2 million. He's the closer. 47 innings of 197 ERA+. plus. Think about this. That is 400 innings. 400 of high-level pitching all gotten for reasonable money on the market. They went out and bought 400 innings of that in an offseason. It's one thing to make one buy like that and have it work out. The Giants went four for four on the pitching staff alone. That makes quite a difference. So the Giants have the production to stay in games. The way they play those games is why they are so consistent series to series, month to month. The Giants work hard to get the platoon advantage, and they pinch hit more than any other club in the game. In pinch hitting situations, it's up and down, but they're 14th in baseball in slugging pinch hitting. In Lamont Wade Jr. and Darren Ruff, they have a lefty and a righty coming off the bench and crushing it. Wade is slugging 527. Ruff is slugging 567. This is a club that has roles, uses its whole roster, matches up all the time. Manager Gabe Kapler is all in as the front end of that baseball ops department. So the Giants are balanced. They match up. They scored big on the players they identified that they want on the free agent market. All that would be a really nice story about probably a third place team, third place team if their old guys weren't hitting the way they're hitting. At the start of the year, I've said this before, I could have believed Buster Posey would bounce back. I could have believed Brandon Crawford would bounce back. I could believe Evan Longoria would bounce back. And that Brandon Belt would, you know, kind of hit somewhere near his bounce back short season of last year. But there's no way I would have believed all four would explode and break out. I mean, all of them? Come on, that doesn't happen. Posey has a 418 on base. He's slugging 534 as a catcher. Those are the numbers from his heyday. And it's more than that. Here are the major league leaders in OPS Plus for players 33 and older. The Giants have five of the top eight. This is for players with at least 150 plate appearances. I know Longoria is hurt, right? But this is immense production from the core of the club, including catcher and shortstop, as the dog just said. The new Giants are making it happen, but the old Giants are powering this remarkable turnaround.